Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening to you, my sweet, sweet, sweet family. You know, I'm going to get a little personal today. And I hope y'all can go there with me. Um, if y'all can't, you can't. If you can, you can. Um, help me out some. First of all, I want to know how many of y'all out there are parents? Mmm, man. Mm. Um, now, how many of y'all are parents of a teenager? You know, if you when you comment, just you you can just say teenager, you know, uh, or come in and say okay, baby, so you don't have to worry about. It. What about adult children? Well, how many of y'all out there have adult children? Okay. So my question is to you is, have they ever challenged you in a way where you'd be like? What the, who is, Lord, help me keep my feet on, planted on solid ground, because I know what my mama would have did, or my daddy would have did, if I would have said something like that to them. I, I, you know, how many of y'all are able to stay um, with your feet planted on the ground? And I, it ain't no right or wrong answer. I ain't saying it to judge anybody or nothing like that because I've been on both sides of the fence. I've been on this fence where I was slapped the living the taste out your mouth because that's what my parents would have done to me. And so I really, unfortunately, unfortunately, he didn't really have too much of the problem. I went through a, um, more as my daughter as an adult than I have gone to probably as a teenager besides because I was I was prepared. I already worked with teenagers. So, and my daughter, I I kind of knew how far they they usually go. Usually with teenagers, it's about sex. Everything is so intense. You know, like uh, if I meet a boy, you know, and he loved he he said he loved me, I, I like me or whatever. I'm head over heels. Now, mama, I don't give a damn what you say. I don't care, daddy, what you say. I just love him. I just love the man. Okay, that type of shit. Um, but what 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 really happens is, and what's really scary is, when you haven't prepared for this stage of your adolescent or your teenager acting like this and acting out in whatever ways, and you don't have no outlets for them. It can be pretty freaking crazy. And especially if you add drugs to the dynamic. Oh, my God. Now the kids are walking time bombs. And you might not want to know why I'm starting the conversation off like this. is Because, like I said, as parents, we don't get no damn manual with this crap. <laughs> And most of us learn on the fly. All of us learn on the fly. Or if we took care of younger siblings, we know what to do. But there is no manual because when it's yours, you know, it's a different type of thing. So I came across this story and this, you know, right along with the mental health. Because I already know this situation and I ain't even there. I already know. What the hell is really going on? Because I know what was going on. It made headlines prior to the to the Sammy, the little girl being 17 years old, a teenager now. And now she's witnessed. She laid bare witness to all this damn abuse. And because she the female dynamic. OK, you know, you know, any of y'all mothers or daughters out there, you can tell me that, too, because I didn't ask that one. Because girls are probably pretty much the worst, in my opinion. I mean, they, they're very mouthy. Um, 
You know, boys are not that difficult. I mean, they get into stoop, other stupid stuff. You know, like really that hurts their lives um, much more, you know, and you worry about them being killed. But your girls seem to, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, and I, don't forget now, I'm, I'm a great grandmama the age now. And this is what I know so far. Girls seem to be a little bit more mouthy. <laughs> they just talk, 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 talk. So Denise Richardson looks disheveled as she's seen for the first time since her daughter Sammy made claims of abuse at Family Hell House. Okay. But where y'all think she ran to? And you know who her daddy is. The HIV been accused of uh, molesting uh, Corey Haim, I think it is. Oh, I love little Corey. Um, and um, he's a drug addict. He sleep with men. He sleep with women. He's out there bad, right? Hmm. Now, Denise Richards' daughter and Charlie's daughter, she's 50. Remember, I was just talking about when you started getting older, it's just really bad when you have these dynamics. But this right here, I don't know what's happening in that house because it was so full of abuse that this baby went through hell. So... Let me just stick to the article, and I want y'all to give me y'all opinion about Lil Sammy and living with Denise and Charlie, because that's the beginning of the madness. And it seems as if Denise, well, let's just go here. Sammy claimed that living with Denise, 50, and stepfather Aaron Philpers, 48, had been like hell and also abusive. Causing her not to eat or sleep, which led her to become an insanely depressed. Um, the teen has since moved back in with her father, Denise's ex-husband, Charlie Sheen. Who later said. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, you gotta be kidding me. Child, oh my God. You wanna hear what Charlie Sheen said? This dude, they're having a ball together. Wow. I wonder what kind of ball. The ex Deb R H O B A starring actress, who is said to be saddened by the claims was seen dressed casually with no makeup and her blonde hair disheveled as she flew back to Los Angeles from Canada. Ooh, I know she upset. Denise, um, despite the allegations, a source told people that Denise set normal rules that any parent will be setting. Um, she's a mom and a parent, and there are rules. Sammy didn't want to follow the rules. The source continued. Charlie didn't support implementing Denise's rules. He has a different way of parenting, and Sammy decided to live with her dad, which I think is a horrible, horrible move. Um, but that's what happens. You know, he, he, he's her father, and, um, you know, shh. Now, I've never experienced this part because... I was too selfish to uh, allow myself to allow anybody to um, interfere with my parenting. And uh, I think that is what kind of drew a rift between my daughter and I. And I found that out as she became an adult. So, um, my, But my point is we all have challenges that when we have to deal with our offspring. Uh, Denise... Uh, loves her daughter very much, and she's saddened by the situation. The Southern California teen, that's the second problem, <laughs> added another clip in that she has now dropped out of high school. She feels self-love and has been in a spiritual awakening. The TikTok videos have since been made private. 
Denise, Aaron, and their children have been renting a home in Malibu after being displaced by the Woodley Fire in 2018. So this family is under a lot of stress in the first place. They going through all that fire stuff. And them fires in L.A., I mean, in California, are just, oh, devastating. Devastating. Um, I mean, Charlie Sheen has, you know, listen, to, I can't, you was using a lot of drugs, too, um, because... That's what you be get that stuff. You be messing around with a woman or a man, they using drugs, and you have thinking that emotionally that is helping you, or that's how y'all trauma bonding with y'all drug use, and then one day the shit get out of hand. It's going way too far. And that's what happened between uh Charlie and his wife. And then there was all kinds of abuse allegation, and this child bore witness to all that stuff, y'all. She said she loved all her children unconditionally. Um, she said, but, um, you know, now uh, her daughter going back to Charlie Sheen, what can she do? She just hoped that the girl got enough in her to know what's right and what's wrong and know if her father is having her into something that she shouldn't be into. Uh, but now she won't because she can't have her way. She wants to just claim abuse. How many of y'all, I know people get their kids taken away every day from for things. Well, I don't know them, but I read about them. And I, when I was in that field, you know, I was an advocate for parents who had gotten their child or taken away from them to some degree. Or either put them in a situation where they could be in a respite facility um, until they could work out things either with the court or with their, um, you know, significant other. My point is, when you got a dope fiend and a crazy person, there's no way in the world you can co-parent with them. And these judges is so crazy. These most, the laws they have implemented, these, you know, crazy ball heads, where you already see, if somebody rape you and you have a baby, they'll be like, well, he have the right to see his child. Which is totally freaking... Just think about how stupid that is. On a spiritual level. On a spiritual level, think how damn crazy that is. Somebody rape you, give you a baby that you really didn't want to have. But you're not you dealing with it because all you want to see is just yourself in the baby. You don't want to think about how it got here. You don't want to think about this person put a knife to your throat and did all this shit like that. And then the judge tell you something crazy like... Well, he has rights too because he is the father. See, that's when I uh, had to shut. You know, I had to shut down. Like I said, uh, the group home because I felt like I was working totally contrary to my spirit and what I had been taught. And I was like, "Oh, this is a this is a, a demonic institution. I cannot follow this. I cannot implement. This is insane." So she get raped. And the daddy can say, oh, yeah, but that's my baby. I want a, I want a visitation. I, I'm done with it. Anyway, this little girl, I wish you all the best, Denise Richards, you and your family. Because anybody knows when you got teenagers, and especially when this, you know, she's close to grown. So ain't nothing you can do, even though her, her brain is still growing and will continue to grow till she's like 25. Right? They think they're grown right now, but their body may be physically able to do things, but they're so immature. Because running to Charlie Sheen, honey, I don't think that's the answer. I really don't. I don't know nothing about, um, I just know it, uh-uh. Oh, no, no, no. And anyway, y'all tell me what you think, because you know I could be just tripping. I could just be tripping. Um, Tell me what you think about this girl. I know he's her father and everything. But do you think she should be going over there and live with him right now? Maybe y'all think she should. And that's fine too. I just want to know what you think. Okay. And let me give a shout out to Jamal, Sadiq, uh, Tobias, Orion. Hey, y'all. 
um, Cha Anibe. Um, thanks for you being out there. A Melendez. Thank you. I appreciate your support. Um, Kingfish, what's up? Thank you, baby. Thank you for being out there. And Mrs. Morrison. Okay, I thank y'all for your comments. Thank you for y'all being in the uh, comment section um, and supporting the video. And I know a lot of times y'all think I'm not going to respond, but I try to filter uh, some of the conversation before um, I let them out there because sometimes it just be so crazy. But I thank all of y'all because I do read your comments. Okay, and even if they're not on the page and you send them to me through the email, um, I still see them. Thank you very much for supporting the channel, and um, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Okay, and good luck to this girl. Um, last movie I saw her, Denise, in was a uh, Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> anyway, let me hang up. Let me stop. All right, y'all. Tell me what y'all think. Leave a comment below. Tell me if you, how many do you got children? Are you parents? Are you parents of teenagers? Okay, adult children, whatever. And what is some of the, um, like, you know, hardest things that you've had to do in your parent in your parenting experience? Some of the times when you or or, or a severe time when you know, they challenged you and they were really mad at you about something. Um, do you stay in your feelings? How you handle it? Um, uh, uh, do you think it's really what they're angry about when there's something that happens right there? Or do you think it's some stuff way uh, back that's generating all this, um, you know, challenge? Because I believe in children is, uh, uh, expressing themselves. You know, something that I couldn't do. But now, if you get disrespectful, then that's, that's you know. And then with teenagers, well, you know, leave me comments, y'all. Let me see what y'all think about it, okay? All right.